In this video, we are going to talk about matrix multiplication. Uh, so let's look at an example. So here I have a matrix A and a matrix B. I'm going to check the order of each of these matrices. Matrix A here is of order 2 by 3. It has got two rows. That's the first row. 2 minus 1, 3 and 1, 2, 4, the second row. There are two rows and there are three columns. Two rows and three columns. So it's a two by three matrix. While B has got one, two, and three. There are three rows, horizontally three, and vertically also three. There are three columns as well. So B matrix is a three by three matrix. So A is a two by three matrix and B is a three by three matrix. And for matrix multiplication to be possible, we say uh, these two middle numbers should be same. So that's what I do. I write the order of the first matrix followed by order of the second matrix. And I check if these two middle numbers are same. If they are same, I will cancel them. So there is three, these two numbers I'll cancel. The remaining is 2 by 3 the remaining two numbers when I take the I get the order of the product matrix so what's the condition for two matrices uh, to be compatible for multiplication the these two middle numbers must be same so how would I say that it's the number of columns of the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows of the second matrix number of columns of the first matrix which is 3 here has to be equal to number of rows of the second matrix so that's the condition otherwise you won't be able to if these two middle numbers are not the same you won't be able to multiply the two matrices so one more time i write the order of the first matrix 2 by 3 followed by order of the second matrix which is 3 by 3 and i check if these two middle numbers are same if they are same, you can multiply, so you cancel them out. The remaining will be 2 from here and 3 from there. 2 by 3 will be the uh, order of the product matrix. So this is possible to multiply. So I'm going to copy the two matrices together to find A into B. I copy my A matrix followed by the B matrix and we are going to multiply. The answer will have a two rows and three columns, so which will basically look like a 2 by 3 matrix. So now how do we do the multiplication? So look at this arrow mark which I have put. It's the first row and then I have put it along the first column. So what it means is you take this first row and multiply along the first column. It's like 7. How do you write 7? You see like that. Yeah. So you take the first row and multiply with the first column. And then you will take the first row and multiply with the second column. So you will get the first row, second column element. Then again, first row with the third column. That will give me A13, first row, third column. So one more time, take the first row and multiply along the first column. Corresponding elements will get multiplied and you add them up. That's the meaning of it. So take the first row, multiply with along the first column which will give me first row, first column element, then first row with the second column, and then first row with the third column. Once you are done with the first row, you repeat the same thing with the second row. So second row with the first column, second row with the second column, and second row with the third column. Let's try it. So when I multiply, the first row gets multiplied with the first column. How do you multiply? Multiplication is this row is taken and put you, you take this row and put it along the first column, which means 2 will go on top of 1. So 2 into 1 is 2 plus minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 plus 3 into 4, 12. So 2 minus 1, 3 goes along the first column. 2 gets multiplied with 1, minus 1 gets multiplied with 3 and 3 gets multiplied with 4. So it's going to be 2 into 1 is 2 plus minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 plus 3 into 4 is 12. So that is first row with the first column. Now we'll do first row with the second column. First row with the second column. So 2 into 0. So it's going to be 2 into 0. First row goes with the second column. So 2 into 0 is 0. 
plus minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 plus 3 into 1 is 3. So first row with the first column, first row with the second column, now first row with the third column. So first row will go along the third column. If this first row goes along the third column, 2 goes on top of 2, minus 1 goes on top of minus 1 and 3 goes on top of 2. So, which means the corresponding elements will get multiplied. So, 2 into 2, 4, plus minus 1 into minus 1, 1, plus 3 into 2 is 6. So, I finish with the first row. First row into the first column, first row into the second column, and first row into the third column. Now, I need to repeat the same thing with the second row. So, I'm going to start with the second row. The second row is 1, 2, 4. So with the second row, I multiply the first column. 1, 2, 4 will go along 1, 3, 4. So 1 into 1 is 1, plus 2 into 3 is 6, plus 4 into 4 is 16. Again, second row with the second column. So 1 into 0 is uh, 0, 1 into 0 is 0, plus 2 into 2 is 4, plus 4 into 1 is 4. And now again, second column, second row, with the third column. So 1 into 2 is 2 plus 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 plus 4 into 2 is 8. Now we just add them up and write our answer. So my 2 plus minus 3 is minus 1 plus 12 is 11 minus 2 plus 3 is 1 4 plus 1 5 plus 6 is 11 in the next row uh, that's 23 this is 4 plus 4 is 8. This is 2 and minus 2 will cancel. So you have 8. That's AB. Suppose we need to find out BA now. So if I need to find out BA, first thing is I should check its order. Now how do I check? I'm going to multiply B matrix with A matrix. So what's the order of B matrix? I should write that first. It's a 3 by 3 matrix. B is a 3 by 3 matrix followed by a. A is a 2 by 3 matrix and you can see that the middle numbers are not the same. So if the middle numbers are not the same, you won't be even able to multiply them. So BA does not exist. So in general, we can say uh, even if you were able to do this, it doesn't have to be same as uh, AB. So mat BA does not even exist in this case. So I could say that matrix multiplication is not commutative. A into B is not equal to B into A. So, like in this case, BA does not even exist. So it's not commutative. I'm going to discuss some basic uh, terms from matrices. Uh, the first one is like square matrix. What is a square matrix? A square matrix is a matrix in which um, the number of rows and number of columns are same. So if the number of rows and columns are, are the same, it's called a square matrix. So if I have a matrix with two rows and two columns, it's called a matrix of order 2. So matrix of order 2 means uh, of order 2 by 2. So it uh, definitely turns out to be a square matrix. It's a matrix of order 2. So a matrix of order 3 will be a square matrix with uh, um, number of rows and columns equal to 3. Now, diagonal elements. What are diagonal elements? This is a term only associated with square matrices. Diagonal elements are the elements for which i and j are equal. So in a, in a square matrix, the elements such as i and j are equal so a11 a22 a33 are called diagonal elements okay so the elements for which your i and j the number of row and number of column uh, are same uh, means the 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 row it belongs to is 1 the column it belongs to is 1 so a11 they then a22 a33 uh, so for example in this matrix a11 is 2 and A22 is 8. So 2 and 8 are the diagonal elements. Another example here in a 3 by 3 square matrix, A11, A22, A33, those three elements are called diagonal elements. We have more definitions. 
um, the, a diagonal matrix. And what is a diagonal matrix? A diagonal matrix is a square matrix in which all the known diagonal elements are zero. All the known diagonal elements, for example, in this matrix, if I go back to this matrix, the diagonal elements are 1, minus 2, 4. We don't say anything about these elements, but the remaining elements, that's these triangular elements above the diagonal and below the diagonal, all of them should turn out to be 0. Like in this example, instead of 4 and 7, it should be 0 and 0. So that's called a uh, diagonal um, matrix. So a diagonal matrix is basically a square matrix in which all the known diagonal elements must be uh, 0. So for example, I have here 1, 0, 0, 2. Diagonal elements, uh, known diagonal elements are both 0. Here also, the known diagonal elements, you can see that above and below the diagonal, all of them must be 0. What if some of the elements in the diagonal elements are 0? We don't have any condition on them. They could be anything, but non-diagonal elements should all be zero for it to be a diagonal matrix. So in, I could have had one, two, and then this five could have been zero. Still, it's a diagonal element. Maybe one is there, then zero and zero. It's still a diagonal element. Maybe all of them are zero, 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 even on the diagonal. So non-diagonal as well as the diagonal element is zero. Then, of course, we don't call it as diagonal matrix. It has got a special name. Since every single element is zero, it's called a zero matrix. So that would have been a zero matrix. So uh, by definition, a diagonal matrix means it's a matrix in which all the known diagonal elements are zero. We have uh, more definitions, at least one more. We need to look at it now. So this is identity matrix. An identity matrix is a diagonal matrix in which all the diagonal elements are one. So it can be an uh, it's an identity matrix. It can be a uh, matrix of order three or a mat square matrix of order two, but the diagonal elements are all one and the remaining are all zeros. So it's called a diagonal matrix, and the diagonal elements are all one. So this is an identity matrix of order 3 and this is an identity matrix of order 2 so I we sometimes write it like I and then suffix 3 this is I and suffix 2 now why are they called identity uh, matrices identity matrix we call it call them as identity matrices because any matrix multiplied by this identity matrix of provided you are able to multiply them because we have a checking to they have to be compatible for multiplication. So when you multiply a matrix A by I, the answer will be A itself. Nothing happens to A. So that's the identity matrix. That's why it's called identity matrix. So we'll say like this, A into the identity matrix will always be A itself or I into A. So A into I or I into A should always give you A itself. So then I is called... Um, identity matrix because it keeps A as it is. The next one is called inverse of a matrix and what is inverse of a matrix? Inverse of a matrix means if A into B is identity matrix which is equal to B into A. If A into B as well as B into A is I, you multiply A with B or B with A, the answer is always an identity matrix. Then each one is uh, the inverse of the other. So I can say A inverse is B or B inverse is A. Now how do we write it? This is how you write A inverse. A inverse is equal to B. So if A into B is equal to I and B into A is equal to I, then we say A inverse is equal to uh, B. Uh, another small result which you need to remember is uh, if I have a matrix A and if I multiply it by A inverse, it will be I because it's the inverse. Any matrix into its inverse has to be I. Any matrix into its inverse is I. It's, uh, I stands for like one in your normal um, number multiplication. Like I say, the, the multiplicative inverse of 4 by 3 is 3 by 4. 
So 4 by 3 into its multiplicative inverse 3 by 4 gives me 1. You know, you could relate it with that. It's not exactly the same thing. A matrix into its inverse gives me i, which is like 1 in your normal multiplication because it's the identity element. So what if I multiply a square with a inverse? a square with a inverse because a square is like a into a. So if I leave one a there, a into a inverse will turn out to be i and the answer will be a. Or you could say from a square, one a cancels So a square into a inverse would be a. So a cubed into a inverse will be a square. Like that, yeah. Okay, so here we have a question. If a is equal to um, this particular matrix, show that a square minus 7a plus 10i3 is equal to 0. Hence, find a inverse. So that's the question you have. You are given uh, a matrix here, a 3 by 3 matrix. We need to prove that a squared minus 7a plus 10i3 is equal to 0 and hence find a inverse. So to prove this result, I need to first do the left-hand side of it, a square minus 7a plus 10i3. So I do them term by term. First, I'll do just a square. So let me work out just a square. What is a square? A square is not squaring of individual elements of a. That's something which you need to understand it. So a square is not square of individual terms. A square means a times a. So I need to multiply matrix A by A itself. So I copy my A matrix and A matrix one more time. I need to copy it two times. A square, A into A. So I copy my A matrix two times. And I'm going to multiply them. Uh, of course, you, you can check the order, but it's obvious one. It's a 3 by 3 matrix and this is a 3 by 3 matrix. Uh, so the answer is going to be a 3 by 3 matrix. So that's the order of the matrix going to be. Now, how do you multiply? You put this arrow mark always along the first row and then put it along the first column so that it reminds you the order, the 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 the, um, uh, the way in which you multiply matrices. The first row goes along the first column that it, it reminds you that way of multiplication. So I put an arrow mark along the first row and then I put an arrow mark along the first column. So first row goes along the first column. So 3, 2, 0 will go along the first column. So 3 goes on top of 3, 2 goes on top of 1, and 0 goes on top of 0. So which means 3, 3s are 9, plus 2 into 1 is 2, plus 0 into 0 is 0. So that's first row into the first column. Now first row will go along the second column, which means 3 will go with 2. 3, 2s are 6, plus 2, 4s are 8, plus 0 into 0 is 0. And then first row will go with the third column. 3 into 0 is 0, plus 2 into 0 is 0, plus 0 into 5 is 5. So what I have done is only the first row into the first column. Now first row into the second column. 3, 2s are 6, plus 2, 4s are 8, plus 0 into 0 is 0. Plus first row with the third column. 3 into 0 is 0, plus 2 into 0 is 0, plus 0 into 5 is 0. So I finish with the first row. First row multiplied with the first column, with the second column, with the third column. Now the second row will do the same thing. So second row goes with the first column. Second row goes with the first column, which means 1 will go on top of 3, 4 will go on top of 1, and 0 will go with 0. So 1 into 3 is 3, plus 4 into 1 is 4, plus 0 into 0 is 0. Now the second row will go with the second column. So 1 into 2 is 2, plus 4 into 4 is 16, plus 0 into 0 is 0. Plus, again, second row will go with the third column. 1 into 0 is 0, plus 4 into 0 is 0, plus 0 into 5 is 0. So I finished two rows. Now I need to start with the third row. Third row will go with the first column. Third row with the first column. 0 into 3 is 0, plus 0 into 1 is 0, plus 5 into 0 is 0, plus 0 into 2 is 0, plus 0 into 4 is 0, plus 5 into 0 is 0. And then third row with the third column, which is 0 into 0 is 0, plus 0 into 0 is 0, plus 5 into 5 is 25. 
Now we just add all these elements and write our answer. So 9 plus 2 is 11, 6 plus 8 is 14, 0, 3 plus 4 is 7, 2 plus 16 is 18, 0, 0, uh, that's also 0, and 0 plus 0 plus 25 is 25. So that's my a square. Now what I need to find is 7a. 7a means 7 times a. So that's what I'll do next. 7 times a. 7 times, I write 7 times a matrix. And to multiply by a number, you multiply every single element by 7. So that's going to make it 21, 14, 0. I multiply each term. 7, 28, 0, 0, 0, 35. That's 7a. And now finally, I need 10 times i3. i3 means identity matrix of order 3. We discussed that before. So I'm going to find 10 times i3. 10 times i3 is 10 times 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So that's the identity matrix, but I multiplied by 10. When I multiplied by 10, 1, 0, 0 became 10, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0 became 0, 10, 0. 0, 0, 1 became 0, 0, 10. So that's my 10 times i3. Once again, your i3 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1, which is being multiplied by 10. So this is what I get as 10 i3. So I have got all the terms calculated separately. I'm going to copy the LHS of it. The LHS of what I need to find is a square minus 7a plus 10 i3. I'll put the value of each of them. This is my a square. Then this is my 7a and that's my 10 i3. I copy all those matrices into this equation. I put a square first, minus 7a I copy, and uh, uh, then I have plus 10i3, I copy them and I try to add them. How do I do that? 11 minus 21, corresponding elements, 11 minus 21, minus 10, plus 10. The first element is going to be 0, then 14 minus 14, 0, plus 0 is 0. So you go like first element from here, add it with the next one and with the next one. Le one more time, a11 from here. 11 minus 21 minus 10 plus 10 is 0. So that's my first element. Then 14 minus 14 is 0 plus 0 is 0. Then 0 minus 0 plus 0. I added the uh, third element as well. Now go to the second row, first element. So that will be 7 from here, minus 7 is 0, plus 0 from there is 0. 18 minus 28 is minus 10, and plus 10 is 0. Uh, then 0 minus 0, plus 0 is 0. Uh, in the next row, 0 minus 0, plus 0 will be 0. Uh, so I'll get 0, 0 and then 0 again. 25 minus 35 is minus 10 and plus 10 makes it also 0. So every single element turns out to be 0. In a matrix, if every single element is 0, it's called a 0 matrix. So I write 0. It's actually the letter O. It's, it represents um, 0 matrix. So which is what I'm supposed to prove. So LHS equal to RHS. We did the first part of it and then we have a sub question on it. Hence, find A inverse, which means make use of this result to find the inverse of A. I need to make use of this result. So what I'm going to do is, this result which I have proved here, I'm going to copy that one more time. So I, I, I'll copy that result. Okay, so I, I have the question here so that I can copy it from here one more time. That's why. So I'll copy this result, uh, which I have already proved. So we have already proved that a square minus 7a plus 10 i3 is equal to 0. What I'll do here is, we are trying to find out a inverse. I'll say multiply this throughout by a inverse. But it's matrix multiplication and it's not commutative. So whenever we multiply by matrix, we'll say whether you are multiplying from left side or from right side of another matrix. So it's called pre-multiplying or post-multiplying. From the left side is pre-multiplying. Afterwards, if you multiply from the right side, it is called post-multiplying. It really doesn't matter in this case. It works either way, but I'm going to say pre-multiplying. Pre-multiplying by A inverse. And if I pre-multiply by A inverse, what would happen to the first element? 
a square into a inverse should give me just a minus 7 times a into a inverse a into a inverse cancels off i 1 like 1 a into its inverse a into a inverse is i we discussed this before so it's like any number into its multiplicative inverse 5 into 1 by 5 7 into 1 by 7 or 10 by 3 into 3 by 10 turns out to be 1 that way so uh, a in a matrix a into its inverse a into a inverse is 1 of course it's not 1 it's i identity matrix a into a inverse is i so the 7 will stay there and i will have i mine uh, oh no it's plus there plus 10 into a inverse into i3 identity matrix identity matrix is like 1 so any matrix into 1 any matrix into i should be the same matrix so plus 10 times a inverse into i i is like 1 so a inverse into i will be a inverse so what i get is plus 10 a inverse is equal to 0 into any other matrix is 0 matrix so that's a 0 matrix so it's 0 there so what i did one more time i am pre-multiplying by a inverse a inverse into a square becomes a minus 7 times a inverse into a will become i uh, 10 times a inverse into i a inverse into i i is like 1 a inverse into i is a inverse is equal to a inverse into 0 is 0 um, there so this these are the results i applied a into a inverse is i uh, a squared into a inverse is a because one of them cancels you could consider that way and i into a inverse will be a inverse itself because i is like 1 1 into a inverse is a inverse that kind of a thing of course it's not 1 it's i i into any matrix is the matrix itself now from here i try to solve for a inverse so for that i'll keep 10 a inverse on the left side and shift the other two matrices to the right side so it's going to be 10 a inverse is equal to when i move minus 7 i to the other side it becomes 7 i and a becomes minus a so 10 a inverse is equal to 7 i minus a so I know what is, I can find what is 7i and I know what is a, I will copy that there, simplify and finally divide by 10. So 7i is 7 times 1000010007. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, but when I multiply by 7, it will become 7000070007 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus a matrix. I know what my a matrix is, I copy that here from the question. I subtract them subtraction is corresponding element subtraction 7 minus 3 is 4 0 minus 2 is minus 2 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 1 is minus 1 7 minus 4 is 3 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 and 7 minus 5 is 2 that's 10 times a inverse I just want to find out what a inverse is therefore a inverse will be 1 by 10 of that I just divide both sides by 10 so 1 by 10 into that is a inverse take your time to slowly pause the video write it down and practice it it's a very important kind of a question we're going to also look at one more question of the same kind if a is equal to 2 3 4 5 Prove that a squared minus 7a minus 2i is equal to 0, hence find a inverse. It's practically the same question, a little more easier because uh, I have got a 2 by 2 matrix this time. So a square is equal to a times a. Uh, so I write a two times because I'm trying to find out a square, 7a and 2i separately. So a square is a times a. I copy my a two times and how do you do matrix multiplication i didn't even check the order it said two by two matrix multiplied by a two by two matrix middle numbers are same two by two multiplied by two by two so the answer will also be a two by two matrix the first row goes along the first column so the first row along the first first row with the first column two twos are four plus three fours are twelve so first row goes along the first column we always keep these arrow marks for the first pair so that you won't get the order wrong. So 2 twos are 4 plus 3 fours are 12. First row with the first column. Now first row with the second column. 2 threes are 6 plus 3 fives are 15. That's the first row with the first column. First row with the second column. Now the second row. Second row with the first column. 4 5 will go like along the first column. 4 twos are 8 plus 5 fours are 20. 
and then second call second row with the second column four threes are 12 plus five fives are 25 and you add the corresponding elements so that's 16 that's 21 28 and that's 37 so that's my a square what I need now is 7a so I'll write 7a 7a means 7 times my a matrix uh, and to multiply I multiply every single element by 7 so that's 14 21 28 and 35 that's my 7a what else is to be found there is a 2i to be calculated 2i is 2 times i matrix i i is the identity matrix so 2 times 1 0 0 1 when you multiply it in 2 0 0 2 multiply every single element by 2 that's my 2i so i have all these three done i have a square done already i have 7a done i have also 2i done and so i will copy the left hand side the left hand side is a squared minus 7a minus 2i that's the lhs and i'll substitute all these three matrices into that a square i copy minus 7a i copy minus 2i i copy and the corresponding elements will be added so that means 16 minus 14 is 2 minus 2 is 0 so that's the first element then 21 minus 21 is 0 minus 0 is 0 28 minus 28 is 0 minus 0 is 0 37 minus 35 is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 so the answer is 0 which is the right hand side so you 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 proved this a square minus 7a minus 2i is equal to 0 now to do the second part I should copy the result which I have already proved and remember I am looking for a inverse and to get a inverse I'll say pre multiply by a inverse pre multiplying each term by a inverse so what happens a square into a inverse or rather a inverse into a square one a cancel so you have an a there minus 7 into a inverse into a a inverse inverse a inverse into a should cancel off should give me one not one i a inverse into a gives me i it's like one a into a inverse they cancel and give me one a into a inverse is i which is like one in usual normal multiplication of numbers so a into a inverse is i minus two into i is like one so a inverse into one is a inverse a inverse into i is a inverse so one more time a inverse into a square is one a cancel so a minus seven times a into a inverse is i minus two into i into a inverse i is like one one into a inverse is a inverse and i'm trying to solve for a inverse so i rearrange it for a inverse so i, I just wrote those results which we have applied there and I'm trying to solve for A inverse. So I'm going to rearrange for A inverse. So 2 inverse, I move 2 A inverse, I took to the right side. So 2 A inverse is equal to A minus 7i. So that is 2 A inverse is equal to I copy my A from the question. And 7i, 7i means 7 times 1, 0, 0, 1. So 7, 0, 0, 7. 7i, 7, 0, 0. 7 into 1, 0, 0, 1. That is 7, 0, 0, 7. Now subtract. So when I subtract, 2 minus 7 is negative 5, 3 minus 0 is 3, 4 minus 0 is 4, 5 minus 7 is minus 2. This is 2 times A inverse and therefore A inverse will be half of it. So I shift this 2 to the other side. So half of that matrix is the uh, answer. And here there are two questions for you to try. So that's the first one. Post the video, write it down, That's, and then you do it, yeah? Uh, we'll quickly look at another question. If A is equal to 1, 0, minus 1, 7, find K if A square is equal to 8A plus KI. K is a number, small letter K, KI. Uh, so this is what is given to me. So this is being given to us. So what I will do is, I'll first find out what is A square, then I'll find out what is 8a i will also find out what is ki do them separately put it back into this and then try to solve for k so let's find out what is a square a square is a a multiplied by a itself 2 by 2 matrix multiplied by 2 by 2 the answer should be a 2 by 2 matrix 
the row goes with the column. So the first row should go with the first column. 1, 0 goes along the first column. 1, 0 goes along the first column. 1 into 1 is 1, plus 0 into minus 1 is 0. Now the first row goes along the second column. 1 into 0 is 0, plus 0 into 7 is 0. So first row into the first column, first row into the second column. Now the second row, minus 1, 7 will go along the first column. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1, 7 into minus 1 is minus 7. Now the second row with the second column, minus 1 into 0 is 0, plus 7 into 7 is 49. So that gives me this matrix. That's my A square. Now I'll do what is 8A, 8, 8 times A. So 8 times I copy my A and multiply every single element by 8. 1 into 8 is 8, 0 into 8 is 0, minus 8, and 8 sevens are 56. And what I now need is Ki. And what is Ki? K times, small letter K is a number, scalar it is. K times 1, 0, 0, 1, identity matrix. And K goes inside, so that will be K, 0, 0, K. So I did all three of them, all three here. And I'm going to put them back into that because that's a given condition. So I'll write what is given to me. Given to me that a square is equal to 8a plus ki. I sub it in. I wrote the value of a square. I wrote the value of 8a. I also wrote the value of ki. Now if I add these two, I can equate the corresponding elements from both sides. Uh, the first element, once I add this, what's the first element here going to be? Which means a 1, 1. What is it going to be? 8 plus k will be the first element from here. 8 plus k must be equal to 1 because that's the first element from the left side. So I equate a11 from both sides. a11 on the left side is 1 and a11 on the right side will be 8 plus k. So I get 1 is equal to 8 plus k. So k is equal to minus 7. So I have another question for you here, homework. So that is the question. So in this video, what you need to do is every single question, because we discussed a lot of theory, so it took longer time uh, and less number of questions. So you need to repeat the questions, what I have done first. You should definitely do that. And then try these questions as homework. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.